Hey there, Agent of Doubt tagged me in a video, hashtag scary ad stories, and he wanted people to talk about uh, experiences they've had with ads that show up that are scarily reminiscent of things that you were just recently doing. Um, it could be talking on the phone, it could be um, just having your phone in your pocket when you're having a, a conversation with someone. It could be something that you you did some searching on Amazon and found it and suddenly find those ads for those things elsewhere. There's a number of of, uh, of things that it, that it could be. I've only really experienced the thing of uh, something I've searched on Amazon shows up on Facebook. Um, but some of why I haven't run across it very much on my computer is because I use this this uh, extension for Chrome called ScriptSafe. It's similar to NoScript for Firefox, and it pretty much blocks all, all JavaScript until you say allow, or you could say temporarily allow, that sort of thing. Let's, let's go to a, a, a CNN article, for instance. Okay, CNN is usually just filled with, with stuff on the side, almost all news sites, filled with all this stuff and what makes it take a while to load has nothing to do with you uh, of with the information that you actually want. That that's actually almost instant. Like for instance, here it is. I have a very slow internet connection. I'm going to reload the page. There it is. Bam, it's there. You don't have a bunch of crap in the way. Uh, sometimes even uh, places like uh, New York Times they'll have this uh, uh, thing that oh subscribe so you can view this article and it'll just let you view it anyway. Um, but for instance, right here, look at all these things that are that are blocked. Um, <clears throat> and so I I surf the web this way on my computer. So it's it's less likely that I'll run into these kinds of things, uh, uh, you know, at least on the computer. Um, but I haven't I haven't run across the, the thing of, of conversations and then suddenly I see the ads that that match up with it. But then again, when I'm browsing the web, I'm usually using the Brave browser. Brave on this is really good. Brave on the uh, on on the desktop needs a lot of work. But on this, you know, it, it has a, a good ad blocker built right in. So.